Hello, this is a tutorial on how to do a formal observation through Observation Studio. So first you probably received an email from your supervisor stating that you have started the formal observation process and you need to complete the pre-observation questionnaire. So let's start with logging into Falcon World. And then once you're in Falcon World, log into Observation Studio. When you're in Observation Studio, you'll be presented with a new type of dashboard. In the center column, you'll notice Current Observations now has a new step-by-step -step process for going through the formal observation. The first thing you want to take note of is who your formal observation is by. So at any time that you have any questions, you know exactly who to contact. The first step has a green check mark email notification that you have already received. The second option right now, pre-observation questions, is now a blue link. You can click on this at any time. This will open up your pre-observation questionnaire. These questionnaires will vary depending on the position that you hold. Teachers have a certain questionnaire, nurses are different, counselors, so on and so forth, whichever the requirements of PDE are for your particular position. A few things to point out are there are text boxes for each one of these questions that you'll be able to complete. Now these questions, you'll notice the navigation on the left hand side, it goes through all of the domains that need to be completed, domain one and domain four primarily. Now as you go through these, each one of those domain components will have a different number of questions, two, three, maybe just one question. Complete each of these as you go. As you're working on domain 1A, you'll be able to answer all of the questions in the text boxes, and then you can click Save and Next. This new version of Observation Studio for formal observation does not make you complete the entire questionnaire in one sitting you can work through it domain component by domain component and you can come back at any time. But in order to save everything, you must hit the save and next button. You cannot navigate through using the different menus that are on the left hand side here. This will help you jump from domain component to domain component, but when you're ready to save, you must hit that save and next button. So here on domain 1A, there's only the Save and Next button. But when you do click and save that, you'll notice that now we have another button, Save and Previous. So this Domain 1B, if I click the Save and Previous, it will take me back to Domain 1A. But you must complete each one of these, and in order to save everything that you place in the text boxes, you must either hit the Save and Previous, or the save and next. Again, you must hit save and previous or save and next in order to save whatever you have typed in the open text boxes. You cannot use the menu on the left. You have to use the save button uh, when you wanna save something in the text boxes. Now you can use the navigation on the left if you've saved something, you've logged out, and now you're coming back in another day to complete the rest of the observation questionnaire. You'll notice that wherever there are bolded items on the left-hand side, there has been information placed in the text boxes and saved. Anything that is not bold is still waiting to be answered. So as you work through all of the questions and all of the domains for the pre-observation questionnaire, you'll eventually get down to the next to last position, which is a pre-observation lesson plan upload. For the lesson plan upload, you simply click on the browse button and you can select all of your lessons. Now, the nice thing about this is you can upload multiple lesson plans at one time. You can upload lesson plans, rubrics, activities, whatever you need to you'll be able to upload all the documents and then click Save and Previous or Save and Next, and that will upload it to the next, to the next level. 
Once these have been saved and uploaded, you always have the opportunity to come back and delete anything that has been uploaded and re-upload. In case you've been asked to upload a different lesson plan or change something on a lesson plan, you'll be able to navigate back here, delete your uplo uploaded documents, and re-upload. Once you have uploaded everything and you're ready for the final step, you'll get to the last question, which is bas basically the completion section where you can click the Submit Survey. When you click the Submit Survey, it will push it up to the principal to let you let the principal know that your pre-observation questionnaire has been completed, and it will take you back to your main dashboard. You'll notice now that your pre-observation questions has a green check mark and has been completed, and that you are waiting on uh, the pre-observation meeting. Now your Principal will get in touch with you to schedule this pre-observation meeting, and once the pre-observation meeting has been completed, you'll receive the green check mark. Next, you'll notice that the observation has, has to occur. The, again, the principal will arrange this time with you, and when the, the observation has been completed, you'll receive a green check mark. Once you have this in place and the observation is finished, you have to complete the post-observation questions, and a new blue link appears. You'll be able to click on this blue link for post-observation questions, and it'll take you to a new site that will let you complete the last question, which is domain 4A, reflecting on your lesson. So you'll be able to complete the text box, and then you can either save it for later, and where you can think about it, edit it, come back to it, whatever you need to, or you can save it and submit it to the principal. In this case, let's say we save it and submit it to the principal. And when we do that, you'll notice that now the post observation questions has a green check mark, but also notice that the post observation questions is still a link. So you can click on that link and edit anything in case the principal emails you and asks you to update something. So you still have that opportunity to do that. But now you'll also notice that you have the teacher rubric to complete. So the teacher rubric is a link that you can click on. And when you click on that, you'll notice that there is a top navigation where you have to do uh, domain two rubric, domain three rubric, and domain four rubric. So you'll have to walk through each of these rubrics. So as you complete these rubrics, you have to select wherever you feel that you fall. So this is a self-assessment. So as you click on the blocks, you'll notice that the blocks will turn green. If you click on one by accident, you can click on it again and the green box will go away and it'll, come, it'll become white again. So as you complete domain one, two, three, and four rubric, you'll notice on the fourth rubric, that now there is a gray button in the upper right hand corner that says mark self-assessment complete. So after you have completed domain one, two, three, and four rubrics, you click on that gray button that appears on the do domain four rubric, mark self-assessment complete. And when you do that, it brings you back out to the dashboard and you'll notice that the teacher rubric is now green. And again, notice that the teacher rubric is still an active link that you can go back in and edit at any time. It does not need to be unlocked by a principal. Next, you'll notice that the pre-observation meeting has a red X file. So the, the principal will schedule and arrange a meeting for the post-observation. Once they do that, you'll notice that the post-observation meeting uh, it has a green check mark and it's been completed. Then you'll notice that the principal has to complete their rubric. When the principal's rubric is done, it'll show you as a it'll show as a green check mark. Then it requires a principal's signature. When the principal has signed it, it will turn into a green check mark. And you'll notice that now you have a new link called teacher signature. You'll be able to click on the teacher signature. And when you click on that teacher signature, there'll be the actual formal document that you can read through. It'll have answers. It'll have all of the answers 
that you you give, gave for the pre-observation meeting, for the post-observation meeting, it'll have all the observation notes, all of the pre-observation meeting notes, all of the post-observation meeting notes. Everything will be there for the final document. You'll be able to scroll to the very bottom of that document and you'll see this snapshot. On this snapshot, at the very bottom of the formal document, you need to sign this by typing in your name. Once you've typed in your name, then you click Submit. Once you click the Submit button, you'll notice that now your teacher signature is green and that the archive is, has a red X. So the very last step is for the principal to archive the formal observation. Once the principal has finalized everything, feels comfortable with the formal observation, they will save it and archive it. When the principal archives your formal observation, you'll now notice that under your current observations column in the middle, it says no professional learning project or formal observation started. And you'll also notice that under your archive observations on the right hand column, there is now a new line with the specific date of when your formal observation started. And you'll be able to click this and see the finalized document uh, for your formal observation. And you'll be able to see all of your past ones, including any past professional development projects that you've done. If you have any questions for this, please reach out to Technology Services. Thank you.